<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Super Bonus Round. I'm John with an H. I'm John with a Than. And today we're playing Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is uh, coming out and I was so thrilled when Telltale announced that they were going to do a Guardian series. Now, if you you might may or may not hear the music in this because of the... I don't want to get copyright claims. If you hear it, then we're good. If you don't, well then oh well. But, uh... I... Before we start, I'll just preface that I have no knowledge of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters, lore, or whatever, outside the movie, so this is a new experience for me. But it seems like they're taking a lot of cues from the movies, especially since they're using licensed music from the 70s and 80s. So, why don't we get started? Alright, so how this was gonna work is uh, how John and I originally start planned on starting the uh, Telltale Walking Dead series, where I would handle all the puzzle solving, but John would make every single solitary dialogue and choice decision. Oh shoot, I don't, want, I don't want to overwrite my save file. Oh, does this not have uh, extra save files? Doesn't look like it. Oh hell with it, I'll just overwrite my file, I don't care. All right, so you ready to get into it? Yeah. Let's go guard a galaxy. So have you ever played a point and click adventure game before? Nope. All right, so this is gonna be your first experience with one. God, Telltale has come a long way with their graphics. When you think about how comic booky they used to look with uh, the Walking Dead, and how far now they had they've really hit semi-realism, but you know, with still with the stylistic choice on it. Guardians, this is the Nova Corps. We have a situation. Thanos is here. Oh Story shit! World, big glowy gauntlet, wrinkly chin. Yeah, I've heard of him. You have to help us. This is a priority one distress call, Star Lord. Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Oh, he is gorgeous. Count me in. I had a feeling you would like this Star Lord. I mean, I mean, he's no Chris Pratt, but I mean, I like Chris Pratt, but this guy is just damn. But when our fighters engaged, he decimated our fleet. Without your help, here, since it's a cutscene, you want to take control? Sure. Half our ships are already gone. We've set up a defensive position around the planet, but we can't hold out for long. You got it, space. Well, I mean, it's Thanos. The Guardians are on it. The Nova Corps will remember that. <laughs> I'll be prepared to like do like uh, but uh, inputs for like when action starts. Business as usual. I'm not complaining. I'm not a big fan of her makeup. The on her eyes looks weird. All right, hit, get ready. Hit up on the control stick. RT, right trigger. Thanks, Yumi. So you probably figured that none of the actors from the movie replies to roles, but Nolan North pretty much sounds like Bradley Cooper. Oh shit, no! Alright, hit X. Groot says thanks. Oh, wait. If you're all here, who the hell is flying my ship? Oh, Jesus. Not Mr. Literal. Whoa, 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 Trash! Do not distract me, Star-Lord. Thanos is here. Today, I finally slay our nemesis. My dead wife and daughter shall have their vengeance. I have longed for this day of dead. Hey, I'm all aboard the vengeance train, okay? But let's worry about not getting killed before we kill him. Yeah, come on, man. A spaceship, not a train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Drax. Drax, oh my god. Oh shit, is that Thanos' ship? I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> 
great start today. I am Groot. Me too, Groot. Me too. Uh, let's go kill a mad titan. All right, guys. Let me show you how it's done. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm just imagining that starboard. Is that why you've been quiet this whole time? Yes. So what do you think so far, despite Star-Lord? It's nice. Does Star-Lord get a shirtless scene? I don't, well, there's only one episode out yet, so I don't know. Well, I'm glad you have something to like so far. I'm gonna see if there's fan art of him. Uh, it's been a week, so I don't know yet. I don't know, fandoms usually work really fucking fast. Yeah. I, I am Groot. If I know no. the Samurai Jack fandom, no. they are quick. That was absolutely not fun, you stupid log. <laughs> Anybody dead? <sighs> okay, good. Where is the other green one? <sighs> Wishing we had better seatbelts. Still breathing. Hmm? All right. Jesus, that he must have landed right on his head. Oh no, get me down, get me down! My sweet, precious little baby! There's an infant on our ship. Oh, that should be good. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Hey, get down here! I mean, up here! Whatever! Oh, I do like that this touch they added, it will be like in the area you get to when you leave, but like, they added like uh, using his jet boosters to like navigate puzzles. Nice piece of tall. Your powers have oh, I, I, I played the sarcastic out. one, so it's We're it's interesting to see you be the nice guy. You don't help me. Uh, left stick. Careful with that. Uh, uh, my baby, give it. Uh, Come on. Uh, 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 woo! <laughs> Uh, another nanosecond, and we all would have been atomized. Still looks like it'll blow up to me. It sure ain't no toy. We get pushed around by a lot of dangerous jerks. I built this bad boy to push back. Hey, <laughs> ain't she a beaut? She's still a little unstable. I like the way your brain works. Me too. <sighs> so this is... This is very I... different from how mine went. <laughs> What, you were a sarcastic I, I was bitch. a dick to rocket. I was a huge dick to rocket. I'm gonna be nice to everyone. He is heading towards uh, the you might not find that so easy. Why? Because, I don't like know, that's the way it works. Like, you're left with, a lot of your choices are binary, so like if you try to please everybody, you, it's a lot harder. And that gun. <laughs> Tangled Up in Blue, episode one. Thanos. <laughs> Through there. You can smell him? I smell his evil stench. He farted. Wait, that, that's a, that was a terrible track voice. He farted. door is not gonna budge so easily. <laughs> yeah, it will. Yeah, let's fire it at that okay. <laughs> so gun of the giant steel door. Ain't totally, you know, operational yet. And it only has one shot. But think of it as a feature. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't harness enough energy to atomize a biggish moon or smallish planet without some drawbacks. Right? Am I right? Okay. We'll find another way in. Thanks for understanding, Pete. I'll make sure you're not in the blast radius when this sucker finally goes off. It is really watching interesting to watch you be nice to him. I was I was kind of a dick to him. Hmm. 
I tried to keep him as close to the uh, Chris Let's Pratt Star Lord as I could. Struggles. <laughs> Strains. Uh. Aha, there's a way in. Think I see a way over. Tread lightly, Star Lord. Thanos must not detect our presence. I'm not gonna tread at all. You must be sad now that he put his mask on. I am a little sad. All right, so now you gotta use the D-pads to uh, uh, level to you need to levitate. Oh, hey, easy there, Shifty. I'm just crawling through. So yeah, I apologize to you guys if we're a little silent. I'm just letting John figure this all out because I've played this all the way through and I'm not going to tell him anything beyond what he's already seen. What do your red eyes see? Uh, they see I should get out of the way. And, you know, float my way down. Peter? Left trigger to Peter? answer comment calls. Are you injured? Say something. No, no, that was uh, totally part of the plan. Definitely did not almost die. Okay, good. We, we threw some sarcasm in. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. <laughs> oh, no. What happened? Did you find the Nova Corps? Yeah, um... They're all dead. Big shocker. I'm sure Thanos would have just let him. I figured Sam Thanos would have just let him live. No, he's kind of an asshole. All right, do you want me to do this part or do you want to give it a shot? Yep. Okay, because this is like inspecting places and all that. I am officially creeped out. Yeah, I can just blaze through this part. Looks like some kind of ugh, fungus. Maybe? Oh, uh, when you're when you're walking, you hold down our our right trigger to walk faster. They're all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I we we figured, uh, Pete. This was a bloodbath. It's a bit of an interesting choice that they didn't like that they chose to uh, release this and um. In uh, April, like when before, but this they, they typically do five episode series, so like you know they they could have done. <laughs> bless you. Oh my God. Um, and I think it's, I think uh, if you ask me, because like Telltale likes to do episodes like uh, monthly or bi monthly. I think they should have released the first episode G December or January, so that way the whole season would be out for uh, Guardians uh, two coming out. But uh, hey, they had Walking Dead running too, so I guess it was just they, they made it work somehow. Is that gu gun ready yet, Rocket? Come on. So, is that fancy gun of yours ready yet? You can't rush perfection or nanomolecular weaponry, so no. <laughs> Sorry I asked. I can hear you in my ear. So, who do you think built this place? Cree. I can tell by the hideous architecture. I have never encountered. Never took you for an art critic, Drax. Various creatures. I rejoiced greatly. They were annihilated. Hey, Gamora. What do you need? Got any useful info about Thanos? Unfortunately, I do. Being raised by a monster, you learn for. Oh, hang on. Oh, I actually that's that's interesting. Sounds like Thanos is already down. I, I like that they have um, a, a little dialogue that, that plays when you uh, interrupt some uh, somebody while you're uh, scouting around looking at things. Because usually they just cut you off. Gamora, you got a sec? Yes. Just between you and me, this place is kind of freaking me out. Yeah. Never was a fan of haunted houses. The sooner we finish the job, the sooner we can get the hell out. And yeah, I don't... Wait, hold up a second. Would you stop interrupting her? 
That's I, I do like that they do that, that though. Can do some damage. You there? What's up? What's going on over there, man? I found a crashed Nova Corps ship. I'd smack through the wall. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah. I think its guns can blast the door open, but I can't get into the cockpit. Wait, the so judging from the way right the here. ship was positioned, they, uh, I think it was in the, the hall. The like it didn't crash through I don't think it crashed through the temple. I found the panel, but I can't get it open. Yeah, you're gonna need an override chip to access it. Okay. Maybe I can figure out who was in charge. Well, I've got the time scanner. Which is a thing I actually would like to see come in come into the movies. Okay, that guy. Wait, I think I think this dude was the high-ranking officer. Oh no, I think he was over here. I nope. Just a regular corpsman. Oh no, I looked at that already. Okay, here we go. Okay, he's definitely high ranking if he's giving orders. You look like an authority figure. Oh! Oh shit! It's rare Thanos doing his own dirty work. Usually he has people to do that for him. Jeez. Fuck! I wonder who would win in a fight, Thanos or Frieza? Oh, uh, that depends, with or without Infinity Gauntlet. Well, okay, they're both at their most powerful. Frieza has the golden transformation that he used in the movie. Which is going to be on super soon. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I'd rather I'll watch the super version first. Go ahead, continue. So okay, so I guess Thanos can have the Infinity Gauntlet. Mm. Ouch. Well, considering I have no, not a whole lot of background on uh, Dragon Ball and no background on the comic, uh, the Marvel Comics lore, it's really hard. So this is where you landed. Ouch. All right. So I think his. Do I take his ID chip or something? Oh, it's in his helmet. Okay. Bingo. ID chip. Got it. Okay. Now to go override that thing, Bob. My Bob. Hey, you guys still out there? Affirmative, Star Lord. All right, dialogue choice. Uh, stand back. Good. Stand back from the door. Like, way, way back. Understood. Backing away. <laughs> oh, I don't like the sound of that. Booyah! Ding dong, you got company. Okay, so according to this, the Infinity Gauntlet can it's control over great. aspects of time. They yeah, because the time jam. Limitless manipulation of space. Body, space jam. Military. What is that? Limitless manipulation doing? of souls, both what dead and alive. Soul place? jam. Guess we'll find out. Log what locally or universally alters natural laws of the working. universe We're to the will as well. So Thanos kind of has all that on him. Oh shoot. Promise. It, uh, I'm counting on you. We're Here, since cutscene. Nothing inspires the creative soul like intense pressure, right? Hey, I think this can take us down. Uh, if the controls aren't. I hear damaged. you on that one, Rocket. Nothing spot inspires the soul like intense pressure. Games. I can undamage him. I am Groot. And Groot says he's worried we bit off more than we can chew. Ah, why don't you relax, you big wooden baby? 
We're just going deeper into the old creepy temple. Who wouldn't be? Mm, I am Groot. There is nothing to fear. I will protect both of you cowards. There. Good as new. The time has come. Either Thanos I don't know if you noticed, but uh, movie Drax has his knives on his uh, uh, shins, but this Drax has them on his back. For a great battle. Our fearless leader would rally the troops with his words. Just an interesting thing I noticed. <laughs> oh, you Guys, didn't pick the one I did. Once today. Let's go be heroes. I did. I'm not a speech person. What did they say? I don't. I don't remember that. that I think they're like, oh yeah, real inspiring, Star Lord. Alright, next time on the Super Bonus Round, we're gonna go kill a mad titan. Maybe. I don't know. So we'll see you guys at the bottom of this elevator. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>